how to control temptation so temptation or the desire for sense gratification or what is known as kama what krishna refers to as kama or lust in the bhagavad gita is constantly driving us and pushing us to engage in different kinds of activities right and all of us in this material world are driven by these desires whatever activity anybody performs in this material world there will be a desire behind that nobody acts without any desire so the desire for either my own sense gratification or the sense gratification of my near and dear ones like my relatives or the sense gratification of my community members or the sense gratification of all my uh, fellow citizens of my nation of my religion all these things fall into the same category eventually they are all desires for sense gratification whether mine or my extended sense gratification so how do we become from free from this krishna the, the whole bhagavad gita krishna is talking about if you want spiritual life if you have to go back to the spiritual world then what vita raga bhaya krodha first thing is you have to become vita raga you have to become free from this attachment attachment to what attachment to satisfying our desires satisfying our sense gratificatory desires we have to become free from this so krishna says in the bhagavad gita krishna gives a beautiful example in the bhagavad gita krishna says apuryamanam achala pratishtham samudram apah pravishanti yadvat yam kama kama pravishanti sa shanti mapnoti na kama kami so krishna says just like we have an ocean we are sitting on the beach here right now ocean is a huge water body tons and tons of water is there in the ocean where is all the water in the ocean coming from various rivers are coming and filling their water into the ocean isn't it and especially you will see like in december we had a big cyclone in uh, in tamil nadu right and at that time there was heavy rainfall in uh, chennai and many parts of chennai got flooded the adayar river got flooded and many cars were swept away in the flood now the adayar river is flooding it has gone beyond its uh, banks and it is carrying away everything in its wake and all this water is gushing where is it gushing it is gushing into the ocean isn't it now l- not only adayar river many many rivers would have got flooded and would be entering the ocean but is the ocean flooding if the ocean floods what will happen <laughs> there will be no more chennai <laughs> you and i will not be there but the ocean is not flooding the rivers are flooding but you look at the ocean ocean is maintaining its limit wherever the high tide and low tide is are there according to that wherever the waves have come till there only it will come it will not, it will not go beyond that and the rain is battering chennai chennai has got flooded the same rain is battering the ocean also ocean is still maintaining its limits see how it is apuryamanam achala pratishtham the ocean is uh, it is undisturbed it is achala it is immovable it is maintaining its position although samudra maapah pravishanti yadvat aapah the waters are rushing in floods into the ocean still the ocean is immovable similarly krishna says krishna gives this beautiful simile so similarly krishna says kama yam pravishanti in in our hearts all these desires for sense gratification may keep awakening but a devotee is a person who is no more interested in fulfilling those desires desires will keep coming but i will not fulfill them na kama kami on the other hand if a person is running after those desires Uh, this desire came up in my heart today i have to fulfill this tomorrow another desire run after that and while you are running after these two another desire will come you start running after that also you will be mad in your life you will never be peaceful so krishna says spiritual life means we should learn how to tolerate these desires which are constantly popping up in our heart and we learn how to learn how to not satisfy those desires only then we can become peaceful now the question is how do we do that because whenever a desire arises in my heart naturally forcibly i want to fulfill that desire 
and if you tell me desire will come but i should not fulfill how is it possible yaar desire is coming and i should keep quiet how you know desire comes somebody brings one uh, cup of jamun and keeps it in front of me and you tell i should not eat it how is it possible yaar mouth will start watering my eyes will go there my hands will start itching finally i'll take it and put it in my mouth and after that somebody comes and asks hey what happened to the jamun who told you to come and keep it on my table is your fault no <laughs> now if you tell come and put the jamun in front of me and tell me don't eat how is it possible you should not if you are not put it in front of me no problem so it is your fault so desires come in our heart how do we become how do we how do we tolerate those desires for that krishna says that vishaya vinivartante niraharasya dehinah rasavarjam rasopyasya param drishtva nivartate krishna says although vishaya vinivartante niraharasya dehinah although we are as human beings we are supposed to exercise self restraint self restraint is a is an ability which is gifted only to human beings not to animals animals cannot exercise self restraint only human beings can you see this this is a very very important characteristic of a human being he can exercise self restraint he can refuse to satisfy his desire possible like sometimes some politicians now the elections are coming in india february isn't it now you will see the politicians they will travel the length and breadth of india they will day and night they will travel they will go they will address rally after rally they will not sleep more than one or two hours in a day honestly i met many politicians big big politicians during the election time i meet them they don't sleep they cannot sleep and they don't bother about it they don't bother about food also they keep hopping from one place to one place to one place they don't get food to eat also they don't bother no food no sleep can you imagine that so why because they are, they are attracted by a higher goal food and drink and sleep these are not uh, important things what is important elections we have to get the get the power we have to, we have to form the government that is such a high goal it drives them to forget all the other lower things similarly you will see some businessmen also when they have to clinch some deal some merger or some acquisition is going on day and night they will be working on the figures working back and forth the deal discussions negotiations they will forget sleep they will forget food everything so when we see a higher goal in our life we forget the lower ones so krishna says that param drishtva nivartate if we develop a higher spiritual goal in life then automatically our desires for sense gratification even if they come up in our heart we will not be interested in fulfilling them it's not that the politician and the businessman is not feeling sleepy he is not feeling hungry no they will feel sleepy feel sleepy but they will feel hungry also but they will not be interested they will they will just neglect it and go on with their work so similarly if we develop a taste for krishna consciousness which is a higher taste and we develop the taste of satisfying the desire of guru and krishna i want to satisfy the desire of my initiating spiritual master my diksha guru prabhupad he has told this i want to satisfy him by following this krishna has said like this in the bhagavad gita i want to follow him and please him if we get the taste of pleasing krishna's desire and pleasing my diksha guru shrila prabhupad's desire then we will gain the strength to be able to neglect the desires which are coming to us from our senses this is the simple formula which krishna has given in the bhagavad gita we don't have to strive to control our sense gratificatory desires we don't have to control we have to simply increase our desire to fulfill the desire of prabhupad and krishna the more we are focused on pleasing the spiritual master shrila prabhupada and krishna the more the lower desires of sense gratification will go out of our heart so that is the formula that we follow